Hi, everybody. Pretty soon, you're going to be receiving a packet that looks like this. Well, it's not really a packet. It's drawing paper and a label. But this is very important because the minute you get it, it's going to be your clue that it's time for us to make a drum. Now, usually we will be playing the drums in the music room, and we will do that, don't worry. But right now, we have a chance to be really creative and resourceful and come up with drums that we can use at our house. So, first thing I'm going to ask you to do is look around for something that you think would make a great drum. Now, so many things can be useful in creating a drum, like an oatmeal container. I love oatmeal. So the minute I was done eating all of this oatmeal, I was like, <gasps> great drum. Also, if you want a mini drum, a little Pringles can. Great drum. Also, a shoe box. There are square drums out there. They're called cajones. And they have a great sound. So you can get that sound out of a shoe box. You can also play on the side or on the front. There are so many ways to play on a square drum. It's kind of cool. You can use a box from Amazon. Or maybe an old um, sand bucket that you don't play with anymore. Or maybe there's a flower pot that is empty. I buy flowers all the time and I end up with these plastic pots left over. It can make a great drum. So once you've found that perfect drum, make sure you ask the grown up in your house if it's okay if you use it. Then you're going to have to decorate it because all drums look really awesome on the outside too. Sometimes they're sparkly, sometimes they're colorful. So you're going to take this drawing paper and you're going to use that wonderful creativity. Now, I really like music. So I made some music notes and I colored my paper with um, crayons and markers. Or maybe you want to make a colorful pattern. So you can do that as well. Once you're done, coloring on your drawing paper, you're going to want to write your name on your label. So I'm going to make sure that I write Mrs. Doll's Drum. That way people will know the drum is mine and it also won't get thrown away by accident. Once you've chosen your drum, you're going to want to cover it with the paper that you have decorated. So you can use tape or um, maybe you like using glue sticks. I, I think tape works best for my paper. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, after I've colored, covered the drum, um, if you want to add a little more pizzazz to it, maybe you have something else at your house that you like to use. Like stickers. We always have stickers at my house. Or I always have colorful packing tape because I like to send packing. Or maybe you have glitter glue. Whatever you want to add to your drum, it is yours. Feel free to add it. So now my drum is ready to play. So I'm going to listen to see how it sounds with my hands. And that sounds great. But maybe I want to use some sticks. And you know what make great sticks? Pencils. So I just put some erasers on the ends because I had some laying around and I can now use my pencils to play. And now we're ready to play our drum. So let's echo some rhythms. Here we go. Brown bear. Caterpillar. Butterfly. Woodpecker. That's awesome. I can't wait to play our drums together. See you soon.